guys. So, I'm Katarina, or Kat. I am your Wednesday. Question number one. So, Lauren's question was, if you had a vial of Felix Felicis, what would you use it for? Fun fact, Felix Felicis, um, in Latin, means happy, happy. That's cool. Fun. Fun fact. I would probably enter the lottery. If you entered the lottery, then you could have a lot of resources to do things with. So then with that, I could do things like helping impoverished nations, or I could use a bit to pay for some schooling, or to help someone who can't pay for school pay for schooling. Question two! That was so cheesy. Okay, this was Katie's question, and it was, if you had one superpower, what would it be? So if I had a superpower, I would probably choose teleportation, because A, I'm not actually living at home right now, I'm at university, so then I could go home for like my sister's birthdays, and you could go on a day trip to Disneyland. How cool would that be? Like just, oh, I'm just gonna go teleport to Disneyland. Question three! This was my question! Yay! So it was, what is your favorite type of music to listen to? And are there any facets of your personality that you think this reflects? I really like acoustic -y indie pop kind of music. I also really like classical music and jazz, so like instrumental stuff, and country. And I definitely think it kind of reflects some parts of me. So in terms of like the acoustic -y stuff, I like that it's so like happy. I try to be a positive person because in grade 8 I got told I was a pessimist. And I was like, no, not happening. Classical and jazz and stuff. I play lots of instruments, so I find that really like interesting to listen to. And also, that in combination with country, they're very nostalgic for me, and I'm a really nostalgic person. Okay, question four. I'm just going to stop with the cheesy intros to questions. So question four was from Sarah. So she said, what's the one book that you own that you couldn't live without, and why? So, I chose two. Haha. Uh -huh. Don't tell anyone. I cheated. My Bible. Because I'm a Christian, so this is really important to me. Because it's like, my faith in book format. That one. And then, <laughs> need I say more? Oh, question five! And this was Christine's question, and she said, if your house was being attacked by a zombie, and you had to evacuate and could only take one material possession, what would you take and why? And I'm gonna bring duct tape, because you can do anything with duct tape. If you'd like strap the zombie up, you couldn't get out because it's duct tape. You could fix anything. You could like wrap yourself with it so the zombie can't get you. You could use it to cover wounds. Yeah, this right here is magical. Question six. This was Melanie's question, and this was which bear is best. And seven. This is JC's question, and it was if you had to leave for a road trip right now, where would you want to go? So I planned this one out. I'm gonna drive to BC, pick up um, two of my best friends, drive home. I'm going to bring my friends that are here, and then, yeah! Yeah. So, Lauren, um, can you please, like, make an audiobook of bedtime stories? Because your voice is so soothing. JC, I hope you're having fun in, um, Ottawa, for Encounters Canada. That's really intense. And, um, I'm excited to see the rest of your license videos. Also, I have an obsession with Twitter and like in the doobly doo. One more thing. I have a twin sister and she's in a really cool collab channel. It's called A Fresher Perspective and like in the doobly doo. So I will talk to you guys next week. Over and out. Home skillet biscuit. Wouldn't that be a good breakfast?